going on everybody it's your boy rick one ball coming at you again with yet another classic now if you don't know what i'm doing i'm making sure i cover each and every nba game to provide you with up-to-date sports analysis as well as my opinion on these games Into this game the chicago bulls versus the milwaukee bucks and i gotta come out and i just gotta say it first of all billy donovan i'm not seeing enough coaching adjustments from you and i'm sick and tired of coaches that don't make adjustments i.e billy donovan Doc Rivers, yeah, I'm saying it. Doc Rivers cannot stop the bleeding at any point in the game. Bulls as a whole shot like crap, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say DeMar DeRozan, he's the reason why they lost this game tonight. He's the reason. He clearly didn't have it going. I felt like Vucevic had it going, and I also felt like um, Kobe White had it going. But they kept forcing the ball into DeMar DeRozan, and he kept failing them every single time. DeMar, baby, you got to pass the ball. Pass the ball. You don't got to take every shot. I you also don't. felt like Alex Caruso of the Chicago Bulls was shooting them out the game. Now, I know he was down for about a month or so with a hand injury. And he's been getting a lot of wide open opportunities. So he has to take them. He has to take them. I get him. He got to take them. But he's shooting them out of the game. <laughs> he's shooting them right out of the damn game. So I just, I just expect for the Chicago Bulls to come out and, and to feed the hot hand. Feed Vucevic and feed, feed Kobe White if they're hot. No mistake about it. I don't think highly of Coach Bud for the Bucks either. I really don't. But when you got a player like Giannis, Giannis Antetokounmpo who dropped 17 points tonight and 16 rebounds and three assists, Giannis Antetokounmpo is a Swiss Army knife. I think Middleton gave you, uh, gave you uh, 11 points tonight. Uh, Drew Holiday gave you 15. And... I feel like Bobby Porter's, his 10 points, it was good 10 points. He he knows how to fit in within the offense and make shots in big moments. One of the hardest things to do as a head coach is to determine when you want to put your starters back in. Say, for instance, your starters are struggling, and you go with your bench players, and then the bench players actually get you back in the game. When do you go back with your starters? Well, I think Billy Donovan made a mistake of that tonight. The, the Bulls made a run with Alex Caruso, Kobe White, and Asuma. And they were going on a nice run. Then he puts the starters back in the game, and then they start trailing again and start getting a bigger deficit. So it's always something to look at. I think Billy Donovan needs to make an adjustment like that. Me personally, I would ride it to the wheels fall off, damn it, whether you're a starter or not. If my bench players is getting me back in the game, I'm rocking and rolling with them. Uh, I think this is going to be a good series. I want to say, I want to say Bucks and six. I really don't want to say Bucks in five because I love watching basketball. So I want to see, you know, most of these series go to distance. But uh, I'm, I'm going to say I'm going to say Bucks in six. Bucks in six. I appreciate you guys for rocking with me as always. It's your boy Rick One Ball. Like, comment, subscribe. Oh.